Hello. I'm taking it easy in my back garden because tomorrow I get on the train and I'll be arriving in Edinburgh to do a 21 show run uh, from the 2nd to the 25th with the Mondays off. And I shall be using this, the eccentric chronograph. And as I go through the show, there's a checklist which you've got to go over. And I shall be uh, well, appearing in it at some point, but mainly other people are doing the show, like Spike Milligan and William McGonagall. Not William McGonagall, he didn't make it, but there is an extended version that has William McGonagall. Well, William's not in it this year. Uh, I'm in the condensed version, <laughs> together with particularly Quentin Crisp, uh, my big hero. Uh, even though I never had the sexuality, it doesn't mean you don't adore the personality and his approach to life. And I've been researching it for quite a while, so I've got another book on Quentin, watched the interviews. So I hope to bring him back to life and all his quips and foibles and his way of seeing things. It wasn't necessarily nice. He had his own way and he stuck to it. He was never quite what you'd expect. And I think one mark of the outsider is that absolute self-integrity doesn't mean you're a nice person or somebody everybody can like. And the shows have not attracted mainstream media, just the niche reviewers, which in a way has a certain uh, charm for me from my background of uh, knowing from the start that it wasn't exactly like everybody else. When you discover you're autistic at 41, you enter into a whole world of uh, what are now known as uh, autism politics and all the other isms beginning with neuro, which some people uh, refute and, and stand against neurodiversity and in so doing create neuropolitics, which is something else they refute. They just think there's normal people and sick ones. There's the uh, strong and the weak, the winners and the losers. There's the okay and the unhealthy who should be turned into purebred Aryans. And you can understand it if you've got mentally disabled children. I, I totally support anything that helps somebody who is mentally disabled not to be mentally disabled and live an independent life in the style and the way that our neurotypical majority demand. But look, when you made a certain way, you made a certain way. So if you can't do anything about that, try to be positive about it. Find unconditional love for yourself and everyone else. I sound like a stock Dharma record, but that's uh, what it is to be a Buddhist. You tend to uh, say the same thing over and over again. It's called chanting. So may you all be happy and well, and I hope to see you in my show. Uh, which is one o'clock, except the Mondays, in the alcove room of Bar 50, which is on the ground, which is now called the Access Bar. Came up with this name. And I'm the fellow you get onto if you want access, you need any help, if you're disabled and you're a diverse person, you contact me. I'll see what I can do, but we all know that the Edinburgh Fringe is a bit of a war zone. However, that doesn't mean you can't take certain elemental... Uh, precautions when you're going into it, ear protectors, baseball cap, watch out for lights, um, be brave, be brave and you can have some brilliant experiences at the hands of people who are performers and let me conclude by saying it takes a lot to get to the Edinburgh Fringes, it's taking more and more every year, I don't get a grant, I use all my own cash, I think most of us do, except the ones who are lucky to get bursaries, they don't give me bursaries. <laughs> Ah, don't give me reviews, bursaries. And yet I get all this praise from everybody who knows. I don't know. I get all this positive feedback. I mean, oh, it's nice to get. But maybe this is the show that isn't very good. You never know. So if you wish to find out, you know, and if you do see it and you like it, give me a, a quid, five pound, five hundred. Uh, the most you can give me on PayPal is £40,000. I could... Uh, dealing Krugerrands, if you can get hold of any of those. And, of course, uh, sovereigns are always appreciated. I don't want an organ. You know, you come to me with this, like, camping bucket, those, those containers that you put sandwiches in, the cold, cold containers, and it's full of ice and a kidney. It's no good to me. So I hope to see you. May you be happy and well.